There's a lot of wild things in the land of Germany, man. And as you know, your boy is obsessed. So we got to cover these wild things, man. There's a uh, particular place. It's kind of like Narnia. No, I'm not referring to Bielefeld, although it is one of those locations. Um, the main location I'm talking about is Berlin. Obviously, we all know what that is. And for those that are just stumbling across this channel, you guys know what Berlin is, man. <laughs> it's a big ass city, one of the biggest cities in the entire world. Um, I think a population of almost four million people. Um, absolutely insane. What makes Berlin so crazy, though, to me, is the people, man. The people, it's just, it's just like the vibe there is way different. When you think of Germany and stuff, I mean, the typical American singing about Germany, we think of like beer, brats, and 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 and, and all kinds of stuff, man. Um, but when you think about Berlin, Berlin is just like the anomaly, bro. It's just like a, it, it's a lot of weird. Um, I can't even say weird. It's not the way to describe it. There are some weird parts of Berlin, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's just very culturally diverse. So, um, you, yeah, of course, everybody speaks German. A lot of people speak English too, all over Germany. But Berlin, particularly, I was just like, dang, man, like it has its own vibe. Now, I, a lot of people worldwide look at Germany and think Bavaria, and everybody in Germany rolls their eyes really hard. It's almost like people looking at America and thinking immediately Texas. Um, so, uh, you know, there's more to Germany than just Bavaria. Obviously, there's like the north part of Germany. There's all all parts of Germany that, you know, people are like, all right, cool. So the vibe is nice. But for me, my fascination is definitely with Berlin. And that is where we're going to be diving in today. There's a page we're going to be checking out. A lot of funny memes, man. I want to ask you guys for validation because I'm not sure if these memes are going to be accurate or not. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you guys are returning viewers, welcome back. We post videos every single day because we don't miss. I'm teaching myself German, but in a way that, you know, is unique to me. So I react to a lot of memes and stuff like that. I also react to a lot of like, you know, uh, culture videos, like comparison videos between like the U.S. and Germany and stuff like that. Pretty much anything German related, you're going to see me react to or make or talk about because I'm obsessed. Um, now that we got that all out the way, all my, you know, re returning viewers already know what the vibe is and stuff. So let's go ahead and dive nose deep into this thing. See exactly what we're working with, man, because I'm trying to get a couple laughs in, man. I know you guys are too. Los. So we're here. Um, this is the page Berlin Auslander means we're gonna start with this one right here. All right, cool, boom. So it's like view from the U-Bahn, view from the S-Bahn. From the U-Bahn, it's obviously dark and everything because um, it's underground. S-Bahn looks like it's above ground, so boom. Or the U-Bahn is like, you only get to see like walls or mountains and stuff like that. You don't really get to see much, but from the S-Bahn, it looks beautiful. Is that true? Uh, actually, and let's look at the comments over here. You say, still prefer Uban. S-Bahn lights give me creepy hospital vibes. Ooh. <laughs> oh, also, too, uh, the Uban apparently the lights don't work. <laughs> Team view from the tram. A. Hey. Well, you don't really see hills since Berlin is hella f flat. That's crazy. Another one, too. U1 views over Gleis Dreike. Dreike? Dreike? So, uh, you, 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 Ein's views over Gleis Dreieck is pretty fire, though, too. <laughs> Someone says, and both are late. <laughs> the view from the tram is low key more interesting than the S Bahn. Which S Bahn? Are you kidding? Man, people were triggered over this. Next, me. Bang. All right, nobody. The warnings on EU cigarette packs. <laughs> <laughs> a smoking baby bro i, I <laughs> bro what's going on here man um let's read the comments that are available right here my lieblings build is important important yeah he's like my my uh favorite advertisement is uh importance i don't know what that is important um that, I, that that'd be uh uh wichtig but so that's not that haha -ha, or a boy in a graveyard dang bro you guys advertisements are so grim dog okay the kid also comment down below what is the wildest ad you guys have seen in germany bro that might be a video topic in general what are the most like the the the, the most harsh ads you guys have ever seen in germany let me know in the comments down below all right the kid on the EU packs looks like Putin when he was a child bro <laughs> oh my god on EU cigarettes you can post content which is banned on the internet for extremely sensitive content that's insane bro next me all right me adding a ganao at the end of a conversation I don't understand dog 
Oh my God, I'm gonna have to move my camera down so we can see these memes better. Let's go ahead and move my face cam down here. Um, yeah, bro, that's literally me. I'm like, good now. Yeah, good now, good now. I mean, I'll, I'll hop in, I'll hop in I'll, you know, sprinkle a couple of natulish, you know what I'm saying? Off your head and You know, in there just, as well, you know? Um, but uh, yeah, I, I get this, man. That's me in Discord chat. By the way, if you haven't joined our Discord, Discord links in the description down below if you try to have a conversation with your boy. That would be quite a lit. Let's go next meme. All right, so we got Zabine, 62, Charlottenburg, facelift, two divorces, or one facelift, two divorces, three poodles. Hobbies include speaking to the manager at the KDV, um, explaining that Berlin is losing its German culture. <laughs> oh my god dude look at this again that kitten heel is he recovering from any fracture or something i don't understand bro 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 chill yo lindy uh Visudel says stop it i'll never forget the day i learned that poodles are poodles what she dates men who pay the bill at the paris bar the outfits to the kitchen line wall <laughs> the outfit fits to the kitchen line wall uh, went to the east once for an art opening um, in a factory knows Noi Cohn from television oh my god <laughs> Noi Cohn I heard is where y'all get it get it in bro like it's like pretty much the hood in Germany bro never underestimate when the Kareness of Charlottenburg Einwohner with money wait yeah never underestimate the Kareness of a Charlottenburg Einwohner with money I don't even want to know the caliber of Karens out there, G. It looked like it, you guys got some level a thousand like Karens out there in Deutschland, G. Let's let's go ahead and move on to the next meme. Next meme. Let's go. Literally every restaurant in Germany right now. Kirby Zupa. Uh oh my god. Six point so six Euro Fumfsig. Oh my god. Pizza Kirbis. Uh Knochi mit Kirbis. Kirbis risotto. Is Kirbis like salad or something? What is Kerbis? Was the I don't know what that is. Kerbis Ingwe Coco Supa Ne Trei Sieben Fünf Neun Two Seasons of Berlin Spargo and Kerbis So it's Spargo's like asparagus Oh it's asparagus and it's gotta be salad bro Kerbis has gotta be salad So pizza salad Salad soup Knochi mit salad Salad risotto Is it because Like Every the everything's opening up and everybody's fat, so Germany's like, y'all need a goddamn salad, bro. You better be eating something out there that has some leafy greens in it. Next, also just let me know in the comments down below. Next meme. All right, so we got uh, UK welcomes German workers. Opportunities for retail and hospitality workers in the wake of Brexit. Mum claims speed of aggressive Aldi cashier left her crying and shaking. Yo. <laughs> Yo, hey man, y'all need to slow it down there in Germany, bro. Oh, <laughs> somebody says right here, bro. This says don't buy speed at Aldi, then. <laughs> oh my God, ha ha ha. Frau Nero muss uh, um uh, bedingt uh, Integration kürzer machen. Integration kürzer kürzer machen. Kürzer machen. Um, Shopper Irons eliminated, bro. I heard that you guys are nuts in the f like not not just you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like the uh, the the cashiers in Germany are like 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 the Flash, bro. You walk up there, you put your stuff on the belt on the conveyor belt, and they're just like boom 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 boom. All right, get out. <laughs> like whoa. All right, and it's and it's crazy. The whole climate's way different. I watched a couple videos of expats shopping in Germany, man. And the big difference is like there's not a lot of talking, but there's a whole lot of walking, man. You gotta a lot of times you gotta bring your own bag too, which is interesting because I know there's already readily available bags at most grocery stores and stuff like that. And like they just bag your groceries real quick. They like they they scan your groceries. I think you're supposed to bag your groceries in Germany. You guys can let me know in the comments down below. Do people bag your groceries or do you bag your own groceries because i heard that you you bag your own groceries in germany right and the cashier is fast as fuck now you guys would probably be real mad i'm gonna tell you guys a really quick story right so there was a grocery bagger uh, i went me and my um fiance went to the the grocery store what was it two days ago and um 
the cashier man was slow as fuck like it we had a whole lot of groceries i think we had like 300 dollars worth of groceries or something man and like it took us a safe almost 30 minutes to get through that line man because she was scanning every individual item slow as fuck she would like and then observe the item and rotate it around and then slowly move it over to the bag and put it in the bag and then spin the little bag thing and then she would grab the next item and then she would look at it and then she would rotate it and she would look at it again and I'm standing there like lady and mind you as she's doing this the line is fucking piling there's like 15 people in line behind me and I'm like oop I don't know what to tell you, man. She taking her sweet time. I know a lot of you guys are like, why didn't she go into an? Uh, why didn't the people go into another line, man? It seemed like every cashier was on some weird shit that day, man. Everybody was like, you know, it was, it was weird. It was really weird. But anyways, all to say, uh, cashiers in America, they 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 range from extra ridiculously slow to moderately meh also there's a lot of talking there is a lot of talking with a lot of cashiers it's like oh hey how was your day that not like pointless talk that doesn't fucking matter so uh big difference between america and germany take three all right next one also frau netto can you guys let me know who, who frau netto is like i don't get those memes so i'm probably gonna make a video on that and then you guys can like let me know anyways los next mean all right single fair hot fair hearted mit einem kind neukon bro so single they wear the little high heels those look like stilettos bro oh fair high fair hearted so um newly married or something or right before you're married um so pumps so stilettos pumps mit einem kind you're wearing like joggers neukon you're wearing crocs Bro, y'all wear Crocs out there? Replaces Crocs Europe. Hey! <laughs> Bro, Crocs Europe commented on this, man. Replaces all images with Crocs. Yo, Crocs know they ain't shit, bro. Um, Anika Karen says, uh, I need Anika Kareen. Oh my god. Um, I own standard Crocs, winter Crocs, and fashion Crocs. Crocs for any occasion, basically. I sent a pic in the DMs. Oh my lord, bro. Stipnish es fehlen die Adiletten by Neukon. Uh, and then God was God was God says action straps forward or engage. <laughs> wow. Uh, hey, I live in Neukon and I don't wear those. Oh, damn. I, she said, don't associate me with those weird motherfuckers. Uh, Crocs are an aesthetic violation. I don't care how many fashion bloggers and influencers wear them. I swear, bro, Crocs are trash, dog. Crocs, dog. Y'all got to do something different because them shits is ugly, bro. Next meme. All right. When it starts getting dark at 4 p.m., <laughs> Berlin Ausländerbeast. I am never going to mentally recover from this. Bro, I swear to... Uh, yo, listen. Um, I was talking to, uh, uh, I think one of my admin out there in Germany, bro. And then I'm like, bro, is it, is it dark out there already? First off, it gets dark mad. Well, first off, it gets, it gets dark mad early in Germany. It gets dark here pretty early, but also too, in a weird point, right? I think I was more disturbed when it was like bright and sunny at almost nine o'clock PM, which would be, uh, or right. It was like literally like bright outside i'm like how is it how's the sun still out at 9 p.m in germany that makes no sense to me so on the flip side i guess the 4 p.m thing is understandable because it's happening here right now let's just like spring forward fall back but i'm telling you germany is on some weird shiznit you know like when it comes to like the summertime months man because it seems like it doesn't even get dark till like 11 o'clock at night or thrones or i know I'm, I'm i'm saying all this because i know the little thrones or and you know p.m a.m because i know a lot of people still get a.m and p.m mixed up up. it's like a weird thing you know i don't know i don't know why um you know we don't just do 24 hour time here in america but it is what it is man next ooh, next meme berlin dealers pre-pandemic who are you and how did you get this number berlin dealers now hello my friends uh blah blah, blah has great fresh sweets and fruits for you there would be great if you could get in touch i'm there for you thanks in advance and sorry for the annoying message let me know who it bothers damn damn 
Damn. Okay. All right. <laughs> Berlin dealers are struggling right now, man. Tag your favorite dealer in the comments. <laughs> you better not. Uh, yo, and then there's nine replies. Hey, man. People are here dry snitching, bro. Berlin. Oh, hell no. Nah. Let's look at this, man. Oh, yo, they started tagging people, too. This is the oh, 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 hey, I'm, I'm viewing all the replies. The police are probably watching this one, man. Berlin police side getting smarter. <laughs> Yo, man, the feds is in the chat, man. Uh, so another one says getting better treatment from dealers than local cafe lady. Bro, literally, look at, bro, if your dealer texts you some crazy shit like this, you better give him a, a tip, man. Um, not only my dealer and my mom write me on WhatsApp. That's funny as hell. At the moment, I really thought he's sharing fruits with friends. That'd be very kind. Hey, get your uncle get out of here with that. What number is that? Asking for a friend. <laughs> uh, the groups on my Telegram are growing like COVID in 2020. Bro, that's funny. Everybody's feeding for that good shit, my guy. Man, yo. Hey, man. Y'all, the crack dealers in Germany wilding out. Anyway, <laughs> saw the cutest guy at the station today. Cringe. All right, man. That's. Oh, my God. I'm sure his name is Florian. <laughs> at least he's not ghosting. Damn, somebody was hurt, man. Florian. <laughs> Robo Florian works automatically. Flo aus Friedrichshain. <laughs> why? <laughs> why is why is everybody immediately saying that this is Florian? Next meme. All right. This is like remove your hand from the box and you die. What's in the box? Your Stromrechnung. Stromrechnung? What's Stromrechnung? Yo, I need to understand this. Let me know in the comments down below. Boom. And then he's like, starts screaming. Exactly like that. Cute. No facts. Boom. What's in the box? Auslander Behoda. <laughs> oh, so sorry for potentially giving, for living under a rock, but who's the actor? Oh, uh, that kid's from, um, he's from, uh, that movie on Netflix, The King, and he's also from that new movie that came out. He's been in three recent movies and like a TV show, man. He's a really popular actor. Anyways, next meme. Oh my God, that's meta. <laughs> but they changed it to Ganel. <laughs> I don't like this Black Mirror episode. Oh no, you didn't. When the revolution starts, I call dibs on Mark. Hey, let's go, man. Mark Zuckerberg is weird as hell though. Germans after waiting for the pedestrian light at 2 a.m. when no one is around. Bro, do y'all really do this? This dude's patting himself on the back. Oh my God. Bro, listen, I'm letting you know this right now. If I'm in Germany, lights red and no one is in sight and it's nighttime, I'm walking across the street. Now that probably made somebody's bones tingle a little bit, but I'm letting you know I am walking across the street. I am making it to my destination, okay? Um Ordnung level God. <laughs> uh I got threatened of being fined by the Ordnungsamt because I was about to cross with the red light on a Sunday in a street that was closed to car traffic because of a demo. How crazy is that, man? How crazy is that? Anyways, uh, Tropical Goth, I got cussed out once because I crossed on a red light and a child saw, I didn't see them, the red light was at an exit of a supermarket parking lot on a Sunday. Basically, don't cross the street all red on a Sunday, bro. Think of the children. Oh. <laughs> Wonder how many minutes of their life are spent waiting for that light to change. I swear to God, bro. Imagine wasting your time at a traffic light, dog. And especially when no car is there, man. Boom. Aba denk an die den Kinder. It's uh it's fi I am Ota. Uh, do you see any goddamn kids out here? I swear, bro. It's like, but think of the kids. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> what do you think kids are doing? They're sleeping, bro. All right. Next one. Code name Vita says, one time I was crossing a road in Berlin in the middle of the night on my way home. 
There were no cars, no people, nothing. And then this German man suddenly appears out of the bushes and starts screaming at me for crossing the red light. What is it with Germans and the need to scream at random people they don't even know? <laughs> Hey, man, they said, come correct. <laughs> Give me a check, man. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Boom. But as soon as it's green, you can skip across blithely without checking. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? If someone's brakes fail and they drive into you, you're safe in the knowledge that it's their fault. And they should have, uh, <laughs> they should have, they should have expensive Hauptpflichtversicherung, right? Nah, man, that's goofy as hell. People still, it's so weird. They're like, the light is red, so you should stop. Now the light is green, you should go. And no matter what, I think when people, now here's one thing, right? And that's, that's, that makes sense. Obviously, light's red, you stop, green, go. That makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is when the light's green, people still choose to not look both ways before crossing the street. Practice safety when you're on the sidewalk yeah man that's crazy um or the crosswalk 90 euro for biking against red on an empty street when does it stop when does it end it doesn't make any sense i've never been to germany and this is already getting under my skin let's go next me kylie jenner recommendations for books that made you cry berlin auslander memes mention deutsch aus fremdsprache kursbuch a1 by huba is this true uh, Abe Vada Abe Schwalde Strasse So Abe Schwalde Strasse Oh my god, I can't even read that, bro What the fuck? I teach with mention and even I hate it It took me over a year to finally know how to use it In my lessons and teach with it I hated Tim and Sandra from the bottom of my heart <laughs> A1 was a piece of cake The real emotions come from B2 onwards the third installment, C1, is a roller coaster of emotions. Nailed it. Wait till you reach Einfach zum Studium, Deutsch aus Fremdsprache Kursbuch uh, by Tel. I probably need this, man. So, this is probably like the German teaching book and stuff like that, like teaching people German. I need, I need this, man, because my German is trash. Uh, and you can hear it. My Aussprache is scheiße now, man. Like it's, it's not, it's not good anymore. Um, how to divide Germany in six ways Beautiful nature and cities Ugly wastelands and Hanover <laughs> Yo, that's bogus as fuck Adi Nord, Adi Süd <laughs> Okay Absurd gobbly Gobbled gobbledygook so absurd gobbledygook funny dialect dreadful dialect passive aggressive dialect almost nor mor normal german so almost normal german is like almost the entire entire north of germany passive aggressive dialect is probably berlin dreadful dialect is probably somewhere in saxony funny dialect is definitely Zarland and most of bavaria and possibly like closer to whatever this is it's like switzerland over here or something i'm directionally challenged or whatever absurd gobbledygook is probably that's part of bavaria over here isn't, isn't all this part of bavaria over here I'm, i could be wrong but that's probably bavaria anyways never shut up is blue red is talk efficiently Black is don't talk at all. So the super north, everybody just ignores the shit out of you. Uh, Berlin, everybody never shuts the fuck up. Uh, the red, everybody everybody talks sufficiently so you can get a good conversation going in the in the meat and potatoes of Germany. And then um, the blue is the south of Germany, and nobody, everybody, everybody just does not know when they shut the hell up. So, boom, according to this meme. Um, all right, so this one right here, we got hardcore conservatives is blue, pseudo eco friendly conservatives is green, libtards is uh, purple, what the hell, precariat is, I don't know what the fuck that is, it's red, Nazis, bro, bro, is is brown, and all of the above is black, which is also in Berlin. What the hell, bro? <laughs> yo, yo. Um, blue is unmeldung possible, so anything's possible is blue. Unmeldung not possible. Oh, actually, not um, unmeldung is not anything. Unmeldung means something else. I need to know what that means, so I'm about to look that shit up right now, man. I'm about to look this shit up right now. 
Ha 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 um it's on mail dung uh sign up sign up is possible in the blue sign up is not possible in the red i don't know what they meant about signing up for what but y'all let me know um <laughs> it's called demographic sweaty so someone said hanover uh this person says all of the above sometimes all of them in the same person <laughs> when i see a meme related to on meldung i laugh every time on meldung guys I need explanations in the comments down below. I'm Meldong Bedoited Voss. I, I clearly see the meaning right here. It says sign up, but sign up for what? Um, then what is Hanover? Hanover does not deserve a special mention at all. LOL. Damn. Beer ball versus flunky ball. Here in later Hosenland, on Meldong is not possible. <laughs> you, you can also divide Germany in Currywurst, Herring, Weisswurst, Spatzler. <laughs> Spatzla, Spatzla. Next meme. Super cool furniture pop up store happening in uh, Neukölln right now. Beds, coffee tables, everything. <laughs> yo, yo. Spot on. Poor but sexy. Classic Lightest Straza. My monst uh, Monstera made me like this post. Um, it's not like Monstera's fault. Uh, it's not Mon the Monstera's fault. Uh, she came from Ikea. Um, Ikea gathering the Florians. Oh my god, dude. If this isn't the most Berliner thing I've ever seen, then I don't know what is, bro. That is some ghetto shit, bro. That is some ghetto ass shit. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, next meme, G. What the fuck going on? All right, tell me you live in Berlin without telling me you live in. All right, I'm done. I'm officially deceased, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell me that this is a fucking joke bro there's no way look and they said this is easily 750 euro dog oh my god londoners oh what a lovely studio flat <laughs> urinal plus toilet sink has german science gone too far <laughs> Oh man, bro, how are you gonna get to the soap, bro? God damn. Oh, I'm so dead. And there's no point in putting a mirror right there. Whoever designed this bathroom is a particular kind of bogus, bro. Like, this is messed up. Anyways, this was fun, man. This was definitely fun. Um, I love you guys. You guys already know the vibes, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, turn on your post notifications and stuff like that because we do get it in on the daily. But man bro man <laughs> y'all got it very interesting out there in berlin bro um take care subscribe tell your friends about this and let me know if these were accurate well 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video subscribe if you haven't already i'm sure you know as i've mentioned in the past we do have a discord that's linked in the description down below and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever bray gang Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter. We're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Bragging. Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever okay it's simple just go ahead and do those little things we're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything and it really means a lot now i know you guys have stumbled up across the channel and you're like what does this guy post like what kind of content does he post reactions vlogs pretty much whatever comes to my mind all right it's random content i don't know what i'm gonna be posting 10 years from now but i do know that you can stick along for the journey and it really means a lot now for every single person that subscribes and follows all of the accounts that i have made and the, all the links will be in the description down below that's an automatic entry for any future giveaways i decide to have i'll remind you when the giveaways take place but you'll be surprised what i will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point and it's only right that i do the same thing back Thank you guys so much for being amazing, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.